Today we're going to hook up a volt amp meter to a 24 volt setup. So a volt amp meter, one of these little fellas. It's a digital readout, it shows the volts and amps. We'll have a little electric switch to turn it on and off. Simple setup, it's only got five wires to go to it. And it also uses a shunt, which is a giant resistor, to get its readings from. So here's the diagram for our amp voltmeter. This is our amp voltmeter. This is our switch. This is our 24 volt battery pack. This is our shunt. We have a small 5 amp fuse in the small power line. We have a 40 amp fuse in the big power line. This is your speed controller. This is your motor. And then this represents your throttle. And your on off switch for your speed controller comes up to this switch. So this is a double pole single throw switch. So it can control two circuits at once. So one side of this switch we're going to use to turn on and off the speed controller and the other side of the switch is going to turn on and off the amp and voltmeter. That way just one flip of a switch shuts everything off or one flip of a switch powers her up and she's ready to go. Our amp voltmeter has two plug-ins in the back. The small one here on the left is, has two wires going to it. That's just the positive and negative to turn on the meter here. And then the bigger one here on the right has three wires going to it. And those are our sensor wires. And this is our sensor wire plug-in. Yellow, red, and black. And then our two-wire power plug-in just has red and black. So, start off with our sensor wires. You have P minus, B plus, and B minus. Well, we'll go down here to our shunt, or our shunt. B minus, let's see it in the glaze, glare, stands for battery minus. So this side of the shunt would connect right to the minus of the battery. And then our blue wire, B minus, would hook right to this little pole here. So this hooks right to the minus of the battery. And then this little one hooks to the black wire. I've showed it as blue here because the black and red are our main power wires. So I don't want to confuse it. So yellow is your P minus or power minus. It's this, this side of the shunt. P minus stands for power minus. B minus is battery minus. That hooks to the battery. P minus is power minus. That's still minus, but it goes to the power. Whether it be the motor or the speed controller or whatever the load would be. So our yellow P minus would go right here. And then the battery cable, the minus cable that would hook right to the minus of the battery would hook up to right straight to here. So this is just a big resistor to get readings from to tell you what's going on on this. And since this is a 24 volt system we're working with right now, we can power the meter up with the same power input for our B plus sensor input because the meter can run off of if I remember right from 5 volts up to 30 volts so it can be quite a span it can be powered up by so a 24 volt system will power it up nicely anything over a 24 or let's say a 30 volt system we're going to have to power it up a different way we'll get to that at another time so for the meter here reading 
we want straight to the positive of the battery. This is the same positive. It goes up to our switch and switches our meter on and off. So B plus for our, uh, our sensor input and B plus to power up our unit is the same B plus and that's both protected with a 5 amp fuse. So that's how you would hook up the meter and then to complete the circuit like I said your uh, negative battery cable would go on to your speed controller and your positive battery cable would go on to your speed controller. And then totally complete the circuit you'd have the two lines coming out of the speed controller to the motor you have the two lines coming out of the speed controller that's your on off switch and then you've got your three lines coming out of your speed controller that's your throttle input <laughs>